Hi there learners and welcome back to another math literacy video with myself Mr. H. Now today we're dealing with an important concept in data handling, namely looking at the difference between continuous and discrete data. Have you ever wondered why some things can be measured precisely and other things have to be counted out? Well, this is the difference between continuous data and discrete data. So let's break it down in today's video. Now data comes in two main types, continuous and discrete. Now think of continuous data as something smooth and flowing, like time, height or weight. It can take any value within a range. On the other hand, discrete data is something you count, like the number of students in a class or the number of cars in a parking lot. These are whole separate values. So as usual, let's look at three examples and then I'm going to be leaving you a challenge that you'll answer in the comments. So in example number one, let's say that we are measuring the height of students in a class. Can someone be exactly 1.65 meters tall? Yes, but what about 1.651 meters tall? Or maybe 1.6513 meters tall? Can they? Well, the height keeps getting the more precise. So what is this? Is this, based on what we've said, continuous data or discrete data? Remember what we said, continuous data can take any value within a range, whereas discrete data are whole separate values. So what do you think this is? Continuous or discrete? This is continuous. In our next example, let's look at the number of disks in a class. Okay, now can we have 15.2 disks? No. Why? Because disks are whole numbers. So you are either going to have 15 disks or you are going to have 16 disks, but you can't have anything in between. So, is this an example of continuous or discrete data? That's right, this is discrete data. As we said, they are whole separate values. And then our last example of something you might see in an exam. So, a researcher records daily temperatures. Okay, he records that. Um, those temperatures of a city over a period of one week, right? He also counts the number of people who visit a park every single day. Okay, now they ask us, which type of, which data type is temperature and which is the number of visitors. So in other words, what is that? Continuous or discrete? Yes, that is continuous. And this one, the number of people that visit a park. Can you have 3.25 people visiting a park? No. Okay, so that is... Yes, that's correct. It is discrete. The key takeaway here, well, continuous data can be measured and take any value in a range. We find that with discrete data, we talk about separate values. But now, having said all of this, it's your turn. So let's see what the challenge is today. Here we go. If we record the weight of apples at a grocery store, and the number of apples in a bag. Which one is continuous and which is discrete? So we've got two things. The weight of apples, is that continuous or discrete? And the number of apples in a bag, 
is that continuous or discrete data. As always, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more. See you guys in the next video.